Sign conventions for lenses. First of all, a lens has a positive focal length if it's thicker in the middle. They may have said, oh, convex is positive. Well, not necessarily. Convex is shape. Converging is what a lens does. Converging lenses have positive focal length and they're thicker in the middle. That's how you can tell. If they're thinner in the middle than on the edges, the focal length is negative and it's a diverging lens. Converging lens, like a magnifying glass. Diverging lens. Magnification, as usual, is negative if it's upside down and positive if it's right side up. What about DO and DI? All right, it's a little different from mirrors because for mirrors, the light bounces back and that's the natural thing for it to do. For a lens, the light goes straight through. Have a positive DO and then the light goes through and if it's on the other side, the DI counts as positive. If it's on the same side, the DI counts as negative. So this is a diverging lens. The DO is positive, but the image is on the same side, so DI is negative. That leads to a positive magnification. Sure enough, it's right side up. And the focal length is negative because it's diverging. Notice I put X's for the focal points for a diverging lens. For converging lenses, we can have two situations. Either the object is beyond the focal point or it's too close. If it's beyond the focal point, the light goes through. This is the all positive case. Positive DO, positive DI forms a real image on the far side. And the focal length is positive because we're talking about a converging lens. If the object is too close though, the beams are not able to bend all the way together. And so you have to backtrack and you get a virtual image that's upright and enlarged. Magnification is positive because it's right side up. DO is positive as usual. DI is negative because it's on this side. 